How you doing guys? We're here at Universal Studios Hollywood. It's been a while since we've been here and we really missed the park. Today we're gonna walk around. I know Jurassic Park is celebrating 30 years. That's gonna be very exciting to see down in the lower lot. We're also gonna check out some food. We're gonna check out some merch. We're gonna have a great time today. So why don't you join us today on this magic journey? Here we go. So right now Universal Studios is promoting their Fast X movie with cars. <laughs> Look at this guys, it's the Fast X cars <laughs> from the Fast and the Furious films. It's so cool to see them right here in person. I remember watching the Fast and the Furious movies when they first came out in theaters. Uh, part one was awesome. Part two for me was okay. But my favorite Fast and the Furious movie was Tokyo Drift. I still love that film and I think it's one of the best ones in the series. And uh, <laughs> growing up, I was a huge car lover. I even used to play Gran Turismo's for hours on end. I used to sit there and just play games on my PlayStation 2. <laughs> Listen, I play Barbie online on the Game Boy, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really nice seeing those cars in person. They're in the film, so if you've seen it, you probably want to come over and check them out for yourself. So right now we're in front of the Hollywood and Dining where they have not so secret drinks. They have a peace drink, a Coca-Cola drink drinks with coke and a cream on top. It looks really interesting. This is not the only place you can get it. You can get it at the Cocina Mexicana and a few places downstairs. But I think since we're here, we should go get it we here. We might as well just get That's it here. Well, right? So follow me, come on. I see it right there. It says, want to know our secret? And they have a little barcode you can scan. So I'll give you guys a scan so you can see it at home on your own phone or your computer, whatever. So here at the Hollywood and Dime, they do sell Asian culinary favorites. They have like ramen. They also sell uh, teriyaki chicken. They got a lot of different like dishes I didn't even know about. We're definitely gonna have to try at least one of them. Okay, so the first drink I got is a peachy punch. It's a peach puree, lime, pineapple juice, grenadine, Sprite. And it's supposed to come with a marshmallow and red sugar rim, but they ran out, which is fine. And they have Sprite, peach popping boba pearls, and a peach ring. So cheers, Ooh. clink. Give a little mix. Okay, this might be a little tribute to Princess Peach downstairs. I love the popping boba pearls. And I'm not mad that I'm missing out on the marshmallow rim because even the drink itself is making up for it. It's really <laughs> sweet. It tastes like Sprite pink soda. So, so inside this little that. drink, there's little bobos? Yes, look. Nice. Little, little popping bobos. Oh. And you get a little peach ring. Oh, wish there was more peach rings, but that's fine. You know, <laughs> but anyways. Or like they line like the straw with like three peach rings. Right, like, like maybe all the way to the top. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so if you're craving something peachy, get yourself this amazing, delicious drink over at uh, Hollywood and Dine. Cheers. Okay, so right here, this is the Coke Secret Menu Wildberry Blast. There we go. Okay, so it's a little on the, uh, it's very artificial tasting, I guess mm. you could say. The peach one that I did try, I tried Janelle's peach one. It tastes very nice, it's subtle. This one, it, it tastes like Coke, and then you get that 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 kick of the raspberry drink, and I think it's a little, it's not overpowering, but it's definitely there. And uh, I don't, not a big fan of this one. I'd probably say it kind of tastes like a cherry Coke that isn't cherry Coke. <laughs> kind of like a generic cherry Coke, right. if that makes any sense. But if I were to come over to Hollywood and Dine, I would definitely, go with this one because it kind of reminds me of the peach drink downstairs at Super Mario World. Very similar to that. I do like this and I like little boba balls. They're so fun. <laughs> they are fun. If you want to try something, I definitely recommend going with this one. <laughs> what did you some get? Ramen, some pork ramen. Ooh, pork ramen. I had ramen. to go back and get it because it looked good on the menu and I saw someone walk out with it and I'm like, I'm going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Look at that. <laughs> that does look good. So also a hollywood and dine i had to give myself the pork ramen noodles as egg ramen pork pork broth i'm just gonna dig in there's a lot in there the green onions on top i know <laughs> look at that good okay the egg is good the egg is like the egg is what got like has that flavor of pork wow i love the egg i like the pork but the broth needs more of that pork taste. It tastes more like a chicken noodle soup to me. So it's not the best. I think skip this one. I'm pretty sure they have better things. I think they have like a Korean corn dog that everyone seems to be grabbing. Everyone is grabbing that. Grab that. I know. Everyone's getting the Korean corn dog. I know. Dog. They're like, just go with their the hot soup in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hot yet, which is good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm pretty sure for the summer, people are going to probably stay away from the ramen. And they're probably going to go with that Korean corn, corn dog. dog. The corn dog is like that big. And it comes with sweet potato fries. 
I think next time we come to Universal, we have to come back and try that. Definitely. Mm -hmm. That's wild. The Animal Actors stage is completely gone. That is crazy. The whole building's not here anymore. It's so weird to see it, right? like empty like that. Yeah, I know. I wonder what gonna, what's going to be in that little section. I have no idea. Leave <laughs> it in the comments below. Let us know. Give us a tea. All right, so we're going downstairs to check out the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary merch. Very excited. That was like one of my favorite films of all time. And we're about to go downstairs to check it out. Super Nintendo World over there still looking more awesome than ever. Pretty cool. We're a Triceratops! I see it! There's Triceratops on the list! This is our two-year-old Triceratops, Juliet. I'll be right here just in case she starts moving toward you. On the count of three. One, two, three! Ah. Oh, that was... Ah. Okay, well, she's still a baby. You're good. <laughs> Yes, look at all the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary merch. I love that sign. That's so cool. Was this right? the bathroom? Yeah, or right? Something? We're in my office on top of my desk. Yes. That'd be really cool. And then, oh, you can't buy this. It's just a sign, but that looks cool. <laughs> that, a sign like this to purchase, I totally get it. Oh, it's so sweet too. It's huge. And the shirts. This is my favorite. Look. Like... Ian Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> How does he pose again when he's like, when he's hurt and injured? He's like this. <laughs> oh yeah, no. <laughs> he's like this. No, is he like this? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> there it is. That is definitely his pose. <laughs> <laughs> I love that film. I like this. That's pretty cool. Whoa. It's great if you're gonna wear it on the attraction. You don't want to wet your hair. Well, yeah. You put this on. <laughs> That's cool. Beautiful pen. I like this little dome glass. Like yeah. it kind of reminds me of like the Ford Explorers because that's the print of the car. Right. And then you have that glass dome on top. The that one the T Rex so breaks cool. right I love through. It. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was just gonna grab it. I was like thinking of you. Whoa. I need this. Yes, I need this. <laughs> Look how cool that is. Wow. That is definitely in my collection. Yes. It's gonna be in my collection. <laughs> That's so cool. I like how we both reach for it. I'm like, oh, we're thinking the same thing. I just love wearing hats, so <laughs> this would work. Look at this jacket. You're gonna scream when you see the back because I did. Look. Whoa. Whoa I know, right? So cool. It has like that 90s retro feel like feel. It's so cool. The jean jacket. Mm -hmm. Count me in. <laughs> Let me model it for you. I just love the theming in here. It always reminds me of that scene with Ellie Sadler talking to Hammond when they're eating their ice cream and they're talking about control and we never had it. I always remember of that scene when I'm in this place. It looks very similar to, uh, you know, the architecture of that scene. Speaking of the films, check this out. These are original props that were used in the film. There's John Hammond's cane right there. From the Lost World. From the Lost World, and there's a mosquito stuck in amber. What's really cool is if you're here at Universal, you can come into the Jurassic Outfitters and check this out. It's here for free. You can see some of the props that were used in the films. They have some awesome merch. And uh, you just get that vibe, that Jurassic Park vibe. That's fantastic. There is Jeff Goldblum in the movie. He's Ian Malcolm, and he does this pose. It's just, it's, it's been memed like so much throughout the years. We try to recreate that pose with the little figures. I know. We gotta have to blur that out like this. <laughs> yeah. With <in> my hand. <laughs> and that is signed by Jeff Goldblum. If you want to pick up this little frame here, well, that one's gonna set you back about twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> wow. But uh, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Look at this! It's like one of my favorite scenes from Jurassic Park. Oh like yeah. In the Triceratops. It was sick. I know. What do you guys think? I ended up getting the hat. I'm like, I can't, I can't leave without getting it. It's just, it's so cool. At the Isla Nubar, they have this volcanic tiki cup. 
that I want to get. It's for the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary, and you can put any drink in there. I'm thinking either a Mai Tai or the Jurassic Waters. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, once I get up there, I got to make up my mind. What do you think, Janelle? Looks pretty cool, right? Wow, it looks so cool. I'm like, take the video. <laughs> Look at this awesome mug inside. I actually got the Jurassic water. It has vodka, rum, tequila. It has everything. It kind of has blue food and sour, raspberry. Oh no! <laughs> oh so oh right my now. gosh. That seems so refreshing right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> How fun! But yes, and I kind of let's just try it. It was bubbly earlier, but the fizzled, it fizzled out already. So cheers, here we go. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of like a like a lemonade adios. Have you ever had an adios before? Yeah. It's kind of like that, but like a lemonade form. Oh. It's really nice, kind of refreshing. Wow. Is it good? You love it? I love it. <laughs> and look, it's so bubbly. So when it's bubbling, you just like flip. See that it's bubbly? Yeah, it's got a little bubbling effect like, there. When you sip on it, you kind of feel the bubbles like in your mouth. It just makes it's it kind of It's a volcano. Fun. It's erupting. Yes, look. That's cool. cool. That's really cool. And I got this drink here. This is the Tiki Thai. Look at this. And this one's got orjat. It's got pineapple, grapefruit, grapefruit orange, rum, dark rum. And rum, yes. <laughs> Cheers, Janelle. Cheers. Mm. It's the beginning of summer. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think I'm the only weird person who doesn't like getting on water rides. I just, I don't like getting wet, especially when you're in a theme park. And then your legs are like, they're like rubbing up against each other and it hurts. You remind me of like, <laughs> like when Squidward walks and he goes like, because he goes, like that squishy sound. Yeah. That's you. Well, that's me, but I also hate getting my shoes wet and walking around with wet shoes. Wet like, shoes is not fun. Oh, that's the worst, guys. And that's one of the reasons why I don't like getting on water rides. Nothing against anyone who does. If you do, that's cool. But uh, I, I just, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, I get it. Let me know in the comments below, are you a water ride person or or not? Because I'm, I'm definitely not. Are you? I love water rides, it depends. If it's scary, like if it's a big old fall, no. <laughs> but if it's like a small, like medium fall, like this one, perfect. Yeah? <laughs> it doesn't matter what ride it is, I just, I can't get wet. The only one that I'll kind of do is the one over at Knott's Berry Farm that uh, the water drop because you don't get wet much. Huh? Also depends too. Like got my hair done, it's curly and it's perfect. Then I'm not gonna mess it up. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> So at the French Bistro, they have these really cute treats. They just came out, they're brand new. They're little spiral croissants. You gotta see them, here we go. So right behind me at the French Bistro, they have a croissant with filled with strawberry and strawberry filling right on top. Look you guys, it's like a spiral croissant. It's pretty. So pretty. I don't wanna like eat it because it's so cute, <laughs> but I have to, for science. So clink. I'm gonna take a big bite, Magic Journey's way, because that's the only way. The only yes. way. <laughs> Whoa. Mmm. Is it cream filled? Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Wait, I gotta show you. Ready? Take a look in there. Wow. Whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's insane. Right? Wow. I wanna take another bite. I like how the croissant is not too sweet, but it's buttery. But then that cream filling is like just right. Like it's not too sweet. Because sometimes when it's too sweet, it just it feels like donut to me. This one's like just right. It's like a little tart because of the strawberries, sweet because of the buttercream, and like balance it all with a buttery croissant. So although it's a little messy because I eat messy, this is a go-to for sure. <laughs> all right, so I got myself this very pretty croissant with half dipped chocolate and those are cookie crumble. <laughs> this is insane. So you're messing with two awesome things. Delicious cookies, croissants, and you're just dipping it in chocolate. You're just bringing the best of both worlds <laughs> and colliding them into one. <laughs> Here we go, let's try this out. Here we go. That is Dang good. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I love how flaky it is, but at the same time, it's 
it just falls apart in your mouth. I love how chocolatey it is. And I also love the cookies on top. They're very chewy. <laughs> and the chocolate is great. And on the inside, you do have a chocolate filling. Wow, these are fantastic. Honestly, sometimes I feel like certain places have like treats that define them. I think this is gonna be the treat that defines the French Bistro. This is very good. And if you're here at Universal, I definitely recommend you come and get it. This is gonna be a staple here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Wow. Wow. How's it doing, huh? That is so oh good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you got feeling the best. Wow. Oh man, with some coffee? Oh man. What, which one do you think is your favorite? Now you tried both. This one. For right? Sure. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I think goodness. this one has like, it's much softer. Uh huh. I like that one because it's like just in the middle. It's not too sweet. It's not too dry, I guess. Yeah. This one's perfect. Like, wow. It's a wonderful croissant, guys. And if you need to try it out for yourself, do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're going to love it. Minions Cafe because it's been a hot minute since we've been there. I think the last time we were there, we had the Felinius Flow and the Parmesan sandwich, I believe. But this time, I think we're thinking of getting something else, maybe some nachos. So let's go. So just to let you know, right now, Universal Studios Hollywood has introduced mobile order. That's a new thing. So if you want to order your food at some restaurants, check mobile order because you could probably get it ahead of time before having to go to these restaurants and wait in line. So that's pretty cool. So here at the Minions Cafe, there's a lot of food you can get and some great food too. They have like grilled cheese, they have uh, salads, they also have rotisserie chicken, nachos, and uh, pork ramen. But we decided to get the nachos today and the mac and cheese because they look pretty good. We didn't try it last time. So we're gonna try it today and we're gonna show you what it looks like. All right, so we got one of them. There's the mac and cheese. Wow. And now we're just waiting on the nachos. Right. Sour cream on the side. Sour cream on the side because you don't like sour cream, <laughs> no. but I do. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy you guys. Thank that you so looks much. amazing. Mm. This is like definitely shareable. Like this is, yeah, absolutely shareable. Wow. Look at these huge nachos. I got the Minion Cafe. They have chicken, pico de gallo, onion, guacamole. Oh my gosh, I think we just dig <laughs> they in. They are huge. They're huge, oh my gosh. <laughs> I want to get a big old bite and get everything in there. Ooh. Mmm. I know it's chicken, but it kind of reminds me of carnitas for some reason. I think this is like the flavor of the chicken that it had like the seasoning. Yeah. Is it like wow. tomato-y? Like kind of like roasted yeah. tomatoes? Yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, because I can smell it from here and it smells great. And the juice is really nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I have to go for a second bite. That's when you know it's good when you can't finish the review. <laughs> you have to go for like the second bite. I'm going to go for the second one. She wants to make sure for science. For science. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my I'm God. not sharing this one with you. I know it's like big. I'm hey, well then that means I'm not going to share my mac oh, and you. cheese. I don't think so. <laughs> Guys, get these nachos and make sure you share it with a friend because they're really tasty. So right over here we have the chicken bacon ranch mac and cheese. Whoa. <laughs> All you fans of mac and cheese. Look at this. Let's, let's take some here. With a little bit of everything here with the crumbs and it looks like bacon on top. Little pieces of bacon. What? <laughs> yes. That's good. <laughs> okay. I mm. love your reaction. <laughs> it's very good. Um, so if you're thinking ranch, like ranch cream sauce, it's not that. The toppings on top here, it's almost like a ranch, uh, almost like spices. And it's very good, it's very tangy. But then the bacon, savory. And then you also have the mac, which is great and cheesy. Cooked perfectly too. This is a great dish. And then on top you also have that chicken that they had on the nachos and those are fantastic all together. This is a must try. If you're coming over to the Minions Cafe, this is one you have to try. I really enjoyed it. And uh, if you wanna just hang out here and uh, stand next to Funland and just 
get a little bit of the water because it's kind of sprinkling yeah. over here. That water is hitting me. <laughs> it's refreshing and for the summer, that's what you want. This is fantastic. The best attraction ever, the studio tour. I haven't been to the by the courthouse in such a long time. Oh my. Back to the future. <laughs> Save the clock tower. I don't think I've ever been walked that hard in King Kong, ever. Wow. That was a rough ride, I'll tell you that. Wow. He's going to bounce right back onto you. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> so cool that we got invited by Universal once and we actually got to walk these sets. It was such an incredible day. Oh my god, I'll never forget that. 747. This is an actual decommissioned Boeing 747 that has crash landed in the middle of this tiny New Jersey neighborhood as featured in the movie War of the Worlds. I love getting on the tram and seeing the back lot come to life, especially being a huge filmmaker at heart. I just I love seeing it all. And then of course when you have an awesome studio tour, also when you have a studio tram host that brings everything to life, that's always fantastic when they give you some trivia or when you're looking around at sets like Back to the Future or even getting on attractions like King Kong and Earthquake. It's always a lot of fun. And what we got to do a few months back is we actually got to walk around these sets and it was magic, guys. Let me tell you, it made our hearts sing and it's so great. One thing I recommend you do when you're here at Universal Studios is the tram tour. It's the first thing you gotta do and it's also the last thing you gotta do because it's great. Later on, we're gonna head over to Hogwarts because they have this new show. What's it called? Dark Arts, you guys. I'm so excited. Said it's been a while since I've seen it. It's, and it's back. And from the sounds of it, it looks pretty incredible. So I can't wait to see it. Me too, <laughs> me too. So the show does start at around nine o'clock. Currently it's 8.30, so we just have to wait a little longer. Oh, right there, look. Starts at 9.10, 9.30, and 9.50. So let's go inside and let's just wait. Awesome, you saw that? I, that was so cool, that was worth the wait. So dumb, I accidentally brought the wrong SD card. Usually I'll bring about 128 gigabytes to film these videos, and today I only brought 64. <laughs> so we're kinda gonna end this video soon. Good thing at least you bought one. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I've done it before where I'm at Disney, and I'm like, okay, we're ready to go film. And then I look in the bag, and I look in the camera, and there is no SD card. And that is the worst thing possible. Like. 
though we have to leave, we have to go to like a Target or something and like find some place where I could buy an SD card, but it, that's the worst case ever. <laughs> that or when you forget your microphone. Oh, that's the worst. It's like, <laughs> oh man, our audio is gonna be me. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. That was such a cool show. Oh, cool. I loved. Did you like it? Yeah, that was yes. awesome. I love the drones. I've never seen a drone show before ever. Have it's you? So, I have in the past, but that's the first one here. Yeah. And it's pretty cool. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> and then they had pyrotechnics. It really was awesome. I had a great time. And I hope you guys did too. We had some great food today. Yes, and not to mention that this show, The Dark Arts, it's up till August. So you have plenty of time during the oh, summer yeah. to come see it. Yeah, so we just <laughs> want to say, Thank you guys for watching our videos. We're definitely going to have to come back to Universal Studios and do some more great food. Yes. But we're going to see you guys here next time on, on Magic, Magic Journeys. Journeys. Bye. Bye.